Hi, I'm Allie Merriam here in New York City, and it's wedding season on Pop Sugar. And we have Pop Sugar Beauty editor Maria Del Russo here to tell us her tips for acing your bridal hair test. Hey, Maria. How are you? Now, one of the most important things that a bride thinks of on her wedding day is, of course, the hair. And you recently got some great insight about how to prep for the bridal hair trial. Yes, we spoke to wedding hair specialist Vanessa Hernandez of the Butterfly Studio here in New York, just kind of about what you want to prepare for your hair test. So tip number one is to make sure you bring vision you know, not just of styles that you love, but also of your dress from all angles. So she could kind of no notice if you have a high neck, if you have a low back and adjust the style accordingly. Again, bring lots of pictures of styles that you love, wedding inspiration. Vanessa actually said, create a Pinterest board of just hairstyles and share it with your stylist because this will serve as a jumping off point to kind of get the creative juices flowing. So I know that another tip has to do with not so much your vision, but the, the place where that, the wedding is actually taking place. Exactly, a lot of people don't really consider the location when they're thinking about their hair, but it's got a lot to do with it. You know, a beach wedding is much different than a wedding at like a grassy lawn up on the mm -hmm. Hamptons. And um, if you have location photos, they suggest bringing those in as well. If you don't, just mention the type of location that you're doing it, if it's destination. And then mention, kind of going along with that, if it's indoor or outdoor. If it's an indoor wedding at the beach, it's much different than an outdoor wedding at the beach. If you're like me and you get frizz in the humidity, your stylist is gonna wanna adjust your hair accordingly. And then also kind of consider overarching themes. If you're going for a romantic look, you know, The Great Gatsby is kind of a huge inspiration this season. Mention that as well and she'll adjust accordingly. So many things to think about I when know. deciding on the one wedding hairstyle you're gonna go with. Mm -hmm. So number three is also, you know, with your hair, discuss your veil or hair accessory. A lot of people also don't think of this because your stylist really wants your hair to kind of go along with whatever you're wearing in your hair. If it's something small like a brooch that you're wearing in your hair, bring it along and you kind of adjust. If not, photos will work just as well. So a lot of this has to do with sort of making sure that you have your hair look exactly as you had it in your mind. You, know, exactly. you think about this for so long and you're of course gonna be looking at the photos mm -hmm. for quite a while after the main event. Mm -hmm. And the last tip kind of goes along with that. Just people get scared, be honest with your stylist. If you've always dreamed of this crazy elaborate updo, make sure you get it. And if you hate the way your hair looks down, mention that as well. You're not going to offend anyone. This day is all about you. So your hair test should be too. Yeah, worst case scenario will be you arrive at a hairstyle that you just don't like. Exactly. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants <laughs> and that. And a lot of time and thought is really going into crafting this hairstyle. Exactly. So with these tips, it's a recipe for success. There you go. Thank you so much, Maria. Thank you. I'm Allie Miriam. Thanks.